If I can ask, because I'm on double camera now, so I uh, can ask, what was the point of today's protest today? The point of today's protest is to continue to let people know that Black Lives Matter, that we're not going to back down, that things need to change, that we want specific changes. We're here to make the demands and we're here to let everybody know Black Lives Matter, you can't back, we, we will not back down. There's nothing that y'all can do to make us stop coming out. And uh, I guess my understanding is today you guys, uh, you know, took a walk from here to the sheriff's office. What was the intent of that? to let the sheriff's office know that especially after the bad actors that did what they did last week that were out here and that we're going to come down to them and protest as well. This isn't just about what's going on in the nation. This is about what's going on right here. So we had to let the sheriff's office know what we're all about. And uh, so uh, that was the message of, you know, on the, on the steps of the sheriff's office, I mean. Period. Sheriff's office. If you're going to target us, you're going to target them for the same thing too. It's not just going to be one way. Do you feel that there was, un, I guess, today enforcement may have been applied unfairly or fairly? I mean, what's your thought? Uh, yeah, absolutely. There's people in the bike lane. There's currently still people in the bike lane. They're obstructing the bike lane. We had a biker go down on both sides and be obstructed, not be able to have a clear path to get to the bike lane. She could have been injured. They you feel me? Air horn. They blew an air horn in my ear twice directly right next to my head. Yeah, they're waving the flags in her face. She had to stop a couple of times because people were standing in the way or had their signs in the way or had their flags in the way of where she was going. She couldn't see in front of her. That's inappropriate. Oh. The sheriff's office didn't come out here and stop her. Okay. Um, along the same line, uh, in reference to last week and you know, fairness on that, um, what would you like done? What I would like done is for black people to stop being targeted. Obviously, we see that black people are being targeted in Carson City. Nationally, I want black people to stop being murdered by the police. I want black people to stop being targeted at a higher rate. I want black people to stop being locked up at a higher rate. I want black people to stop getting their rights infringed upon them at a higher rate. Here in Carson City, I want us to be able to speak freely. I want our First Amendment to be able to be exercised without having people infringe upon that right or having people make me and try to infringe upon my own rights. I would like to be able to march in the bike lane as a protester without being stopped. That's my first amendment right. My rights as a, my first amendment right is protected as a protester and that was taken away. I want us to be able to exercise those rights. I can march down the bike lane without it being an issue as long as I'm not impeding anybody and also it's protesters rights. My rights are strongest when they're being exercised federally, and my First Amendment right is especially the strongest. So that's I, I that's what I want. That is the First Amendment right. And concurrently from that, um, so you've marched back, and we're back here, you know, to the original normal. I guess you'd say normal, you know, starting point. Um, what's the next step today? The next step today is to just take this one in. We're done protesting out here today. Uh, we came out and did our thing. We had a Black Lives Matter protest. We had a march. Um, and then we're going to keep them coming back strong. Today is done. The next day will be here. And so overall, how did today go? Like any issues? or? Overall today went good, um, you know, we had some of the Trump supporters trying to start a little bit of stuff today. We had some people coming up over here a little close, but 
We're not into it. We're not into really engaging with them. Um, we have some people over here right now trying to cause issues, as you can see. Our supporters are, are very strong and our supporters are together. We are a unified group. They're not going to let this be messed with. They want us to be able to speak. They want black voices heard and they want their voices heard. And they deserve it. So. Well, Jay, thank you very much for, uh, for your time. Uh, I'm going to get you out of the sun here because it's hot. And uh, what you all, I, I guess I imagine you all got things to do. So, uh, so until next time, I imagine. Bring the support. Let's go. We want the support. Black Lives Matter There's no halfway in and no halfway out. You either full blow, come and support the Black Lives Matter protest, or you're not helping the cause. We need the bodies. We need the numbers. We now is time more than ever. Time is getting behind us. If we don't show up and show out and show our support, even though we are no races, maybe a little God's bit afraid, I'm a little bit afraid. Race, My sister's a little bit afraid. The, the people who can continuously come that. out here every single Saturday are a little bit afraid. Anybody out there but we can't let that fear you deter you us from what the main goal and what the main issue is. Please come out and support Black Lives Matter, the Power and Liberation Movement in Carson City, Nevada. This up, Black Love. Thank you very much, guys. Y'all have a good one. All right, and let's enter an interview here on North Carson Street. Out in video one. Out in video.